Welcome back to Yarn as a Second Language. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to do this corner to corner double crochet stitch. This is very easy to do. Um, this is just a small little sample of a bigger project that I'm working on. If you can count to three and if you can count to six, you can do this. Um, really, all you gotta do is three, six, double crochet. That's really all you gotta do. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, it's very cool. It's textured on both sides. And overall, it's just a really cool stitch to create with. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so the first thing that you gotta do is get your crochet hook and some yarn, and we are going to make a slip knot. Rue, don't you start. All right, so we got our slip knot. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you all so you can see it nice and close. All right. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is chain six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we got six chains. Now we need to make three double crochets. In order to do that, we're gonna start in this third chain right here. So it's going one, two, three, we're gonna do a double crochet there, there, and then that last one, okay? So one, two, three, we're gonna do one right here. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain. Yarn over again, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And you just made your first double crochet. And you're gonna do that two more times in this chain right here and that chain right there. If you're not sure how to do a double crochet, we have other videos that will help you learn how to do that efficiently. All right. All right, so what we have here is we have our original chain and we got three double crochets. All right, so now we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to do the exact same things we did before. All right, we're gonna do three double crochets starting in that third chain. So one, two, three, and we'll do three double crochets. Remember I said threes and sixes. So one, two, three, sorry guys, I keep moving over to the right. I'm kind of awkwardly set up here today. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far. And you're probably thinking, where in the world do we go from here, Preston? So this is what we do. We got our work, we got a little cluster here and a little cluster here. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna crochet into this larger um, space that we created on our first chain six, okay? So we're just gonna insert our hook and we're gonna do a slip stitch, okay? So we're looking like this so far. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna do three double crochets in this space right here. So it's one, two, and three. So we kind of, you kind of see the start of it. It's, it's still a little funky right now, but we're getting there. So after that, now we're going to chain, we're going to do our increase. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do the same thing as the, we did before. That third chain from your hook, we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to do two, two more double crochets. One, two, three, we'll do a double crochet in this stitch. Sorry guys, I keep hitting that camera. I am not meaning to. I wish you guys could see how I was set, how I'm set up right now. It is kind of wild. It's not my usual setup. So now we have that cluster just kind of hanging out again, okay? So anytime you have that cluster hanging out, you're gonna turn your work. And we have that space that we created before. We're gonna do three double, I'm sorry, we're gonna do a slip stitch. Okay. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three. 
and we're going to do three more double crochets in that same space. There's one, two, and three. All right, so now we have this space right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to slip stitch. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. All right, so now we've reached the end. So anytime we reach the end of our little clusters, we need to increase. And remember, the only way we can increase is if we chain six. So we'll chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me pull this yarn out. All right. So same thing as before, third chain from your hook, one, two, three, and we're going to do three double crochets. I believe by now you are getting the hang of it. All right, so we got our cluster. I'm gonna zoom out just a little for you all. We've got our cluster, so we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna start working into that space. So slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna do three double crochets in that same space. One, two, and three. And we're gonna do the same thing. We got this cluster right here, okay? So the only time we do six is when we get to the end of our clusters and we want to increase. And the other time we're going to do our slip stitch into that space that we create and then do three more double crochets on it. All right, so we'll do our slip stitch, chain three, one, two, and three, pull a little bit of yarn, and then three more double crochets. One. Slip stitch. One, two, three, and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. All right. So you can kind of see what we're creating here. There you go. You get an idea here. So what we're doing is We're just, we're increasing by going out. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to decrease to go back in, all right? So let's do one more. So we're at the end of our clusters. So we're going to chain six so we can do our increase. Let me pull a bunch of yarn here. All right, so we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And our third chain from the hook, one, two, three. Let's see, Let's see. right here. So we'll do a double crochet, and then we'll do two more double crochets in the two following chains. All right, so like this, it's gonna turn our work and work a slip stitch, and then chain three. And then we'll do three double crochets. So at this point, I believe you have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this row. I'm gonna finish this row. And then I'm gonna show you all how to do a decrease. All right, so I'm finishing up the last cluster of our increasing row. So now I'm gonna show you how to decrease. All right, so typically at this point, um, we would chain our six to continue to go out. Instead of doing that, we're going to chain three. Let me zoom in for you all. One, two, three. 
and we're gonna turn our work. And in that space right here, we're going to slip stitch. Oh, that didn't work. Let me try that again. I tried to look through the camera. We're gonna slip stitch and we're gonna chain three. And then we're gonna do three more double crochets in that same space. So it's one, two, and three. And now we're just gonna do like we've been doing before. We're gonna go in that next space and do a slip knot or a slip stitch, chain three, and then do three double crochets. And we're gonna repeat until we get to the end of our row. All right, so now we're at the end of our row. So we're gonna finish up our last cluster here. So slip stitch, chain three, and do three double crochets. That's one, pull some yarn out the way here. There's two. Oops, just like before, instead of increasing by chaining six that way, we're just gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch right into that space. All right, then we're gonna chain three and we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did before and we're gonna keep doing that until we run out of clusters to create. So I'm gonna speed along and I'll meet you guys at the end of the row. So I'm at the last bit of our clusters. Now you wanna make sure you don't go too far because if you, this is our last cluster right here. If we keep going, we're just, this is not gonna be right. Um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna grow out that way and we don't want to, we want to decrease it and go this way. So make sure you know when you're at the end of your row, you're gonna insert, you're gonna slip stitch it, all right? We're gonna chain three, turn your work. We're gonna go right into that space. Well, let me try that again. It's funny how much harder it is to crochet and film yourself than it is just to do it. So this is what we're looking like so far. As you can see, it is starting to close up and that's exactly what we want, okay? So we did our slip stitch, now we need to chain three. One, two, three. And we'll do three more double crochets. You guys know the pattern, so I'm gonna grab some yarn and finish up that row. All right, so about to finish up this last row. So you can see it is slowly, we're gonna close that up. That square, we're just missing that little section right there. So we're gonna continue to close it up and I will stick with you guys the rest of the way and show you how to finish it. All right, so we'll enter our three double crochets. Slip stitch into that space, chain three, three more double crochets. And then this last cluster, let's see, one, two, three. All right, we're gonna close that up. All right, so one, two, three. Slip stitch, one, two, three. Three more double crochets and we are about done ladies and gentlemen. I keep hitting the camera and I'm sorry. All right, let me zoom out just a tad for you all so you can see it. So you can see we're almost done with this nice little rectangle or square, it depends on how many rows you decided to make. I'm gonna enter our, our last little cluster here. One, two, three. 
All right, we're gonna turn our work and we're not quite done. We gotta attach this chain of three to there. All right, to finish it out. So all you gotta do is do a slip stitch and just do one more stitch and cut. I don't have a pair of scissors, so I'm gonna just break it like that. Pull that through, give it a little tug, and voila, you have a nice, minus the tails, hoarded, oh my goodness, Princeton. Let me center myself up here now that we're done. We had a nice square, corner to corner, little swatch here that we made just by using a double crochet. So, that is how you do it. I am making a, um, pretty large project that I will be showing with you all soon. And I just thought I'd show you the stitch that I've decided to do. So this is the corner to corner double crochet stitch. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, if it helps you out, hit that thumbs up button. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys at the next video. Adios.